Hello there, Leos. Welcome to your tarot reading. So uh, thank you so much for joining me. I hope this video finds you well. We have some really good things coming through. And um, I want to preface this reading by just uh, saying I feel like this is a love relationship uh, type of a spread. There are other things coming out in your life or um, there are other cards that indicate to me, you know, there's a lot of growth, and a lot of progress that's going to be happening. Um, but I feel like, you know, the, the first two weeks of March, we are still dealing with a uh, Mercury retrograde cycle. So we want like um, Mercury retrograde cycles are a lot about, you know, communications going awry, a lot about, you know, delays, stoppages and, and uh, wanting to push things along. But the conditions or the external environment is not supportive of that. Okay. And so I feel like the message here is to be very patient. With the first two weeks, those frustrations, those blockages, those stop and stoppages or like stop and go energy, that's going to clear up. And uh, when we transition, you know, past the 10th and the 15th of March 2020, things are going to be moving uh, quickly, swiftly, and you're not going to have any complaints the latter part of March. OK, so it's all about being patient, taking stock of what you have, making sure that you're doing things um, in a methodical way i feel like that would be really helpful especially for the those first two weeks okay and then everything will kind of like transition very smoothly um as we move towards like the 10th and the 15th of march into the uh time of aries okay the end of the month um so when i was uh, shuffling out the spread for you i saw a really beautiful scene it looks to me like a, a watercolor painting like a Chinese watercolor and you know how um, they tend to be very vertically oriented so what I have is like mountain range and uh, the mountains are really high in the sky and there's like mist and clouds covering part of the mountain range and the mountain range there's like moss and trees and, and things growing on this mountain range and underneath it is like a river a really calm soothing river flowing along and I see two white cranes. They're they're really big, uh, large white cranes. Two of them flying alongside each other, and they're flying over the water, climbing towards the mountain, and just flying and soaring and kind of gliding as well. So this scene is really beautiful. It indicates like calmness, peace, and a lot of stability, and also just um, the scene is really really beautiful. And so. When I was looking at this, I was thinking of, you know, the, the two cranes flying alongside each other. I feel like it is very much about relationship, okay, where there's a lot of stability, where there's a lot of movement. There's a progression. It's like the, the cranes are gradually flying up towards the, the mountains. And so there's like upward mobility and forward movement and a lot of momentum, okay? Uh, when I saw this scene, I was thinking as well about, you know, a, a very solid relationship that you have in your life. And I feel like for many of you, it took a really long time to get to this point where the two of you are working kind of like side by side together in a very harmonious way. Okay. Um, a lot of the times with fire signs um, in general, like um, Aries, Leo and you guys and Sagittarius, um, conflict and you know uh, passion is it's kind of like the spice of life okay it makes the relationship very interesting but when we are constantly um, like at ideological like um, butting heads ideologically with another person I feel like it can create like um, stagnation or it can also uh, negate all the progress that we're hoping to achieve together as a couple uh, fire signs tend to be very much on the go. You know, they want change in scenery. They want um, they, they, they want excitement. They want like passion and they, they want to feel alive and they want to share these experiences with their relationship partner. And a lot of the times fire signs are very much drawn to people that are like their counter opposite. Someone who tends to be a little bit more reserved, a little bit more shy, a little bit less talkative, a little bit more mysterious, or even someone who's considered like a lone wolf, okay? Who might not want to be the life of the party. So I feel like the, the types of people you have attracted in the past, you are possibly in a relationship with now, they tend to be kind of like your complement, your, your opposite. And I feel like, you know, it's opposites attract, but at the same time, it can create a situation where it can um, 
I guess it can be difficult with um, trying to move together in one direction. Okay. I feel like this is what the relationship feels like to me. Um, we have here the chariot, and the chariot you have these um, two fish, okay, kind of like going around in circles, and uh, it needs a an outside external force in order to rein and harness this energy so that the two people work at the same goals, work to build something of greater value together, and the two people can start to see that they actually want the same things, but it's just the way in which they express themselves um, might seem like they're at ideological crossroads with one another. But in fact, when we take strip away all the, you know, the veneer, all the excess, we start to realize that two people are actually very, very similar and they're, they have the same goals, they have the same destination in mind. It just takes a while to learn this about one another and it takes a while for the two energies or the opposing energy to kind of like work harmoniously in order to move in the same direction, okay? So I feel like there was a relationship here and uh, we have the Eight of Swords. This is kind of like bl being blindfolded, being in a situation where we're not really sure where things are headed, where we're not really sure which way to go and we're not really sure how we're going to get there. Accessing or, I'm sorry, operating from a place where we don't have full access to information. We don't know what tomorrow's going to hold. We don't know if the other person is going to be on board with us. We don't know if the other person is going to be on the same page or is like, uh, interested in you know having the same things and so I feel like there was a situation that you're dealing with a significant other and you're starting to um, kind of like compromise you're starting to get to a space where you are building something together okay uh, getting big plans laid out and getting them in order so that the two of you can you know be together or the two of you can build something together so this is a card about collaboration, cooperation, seeing what the other person is thinking and taking into account their, um, their emotions, but also their input, working harmoniously together to build something of greater value so that the two of you can move forward with a lot more stability and working together to build a stable foundation so that both parties feel invested or feel like they are, um, suited for each other and both parties can feel safe and secure in a relationship so what i'm seeing here is uh, it took a really long time for you and a significant other to try to uh, work alongside one another and to finally get to the point where you're both on the same page and you're both gliding effortlessly towards you know your destiny towards your future that you want to create with one another um, in the past, I feel like there was a situation where one person wants to go and the other person wants to stay, okay? And I feel like for many of you, this might be like a geographical um, like relocation. Uh, one person is like really itching for new opportunities, for newness, for like greener pastures, looking to explore. And then the other person, we have the fool here. This is, I feel more so your energy. Uh, wanting to explore, wanting to see what else is out there, wanting to rush into a situation and ask questions later, or wanting to dive right in and worry about the logistics, you know, on the tail end. So it's, it's like a, a very um, kind of like, you know, grab life by the horns, um, grabbing new opportunities, being very um, spontaneous, okay? And, and this is very much about you being passionate with your life, feeling like you want to open yourself up to new opportunities, to new things, to excitement. And then the person that you're dealing with, they could potentially be an earth sign. I have here Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. And with both of these signs or both of these characters, they don't even need to be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They don't even need to be an earth sign. But the body, oh, I'm sorry, the energy that they embody, the energy that they embody is very much about, you know, calculation. It's about being methodical. It's about assessing a situation, um, you know, looking at a situation and being very, I want to say, cautious about how they approach it, okay? So there might have been a new job that was offered to you, and it might come about with a geographical relocation. 
You might have to move away from the job. You might have to curb your way of life in order to fit this job into your life. You might have to change yourself in some capacity in order to make this work for you. And the other person is like biding their time. They're assessing a situation. Their their movement, their their the way in which they go about it is very 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 slow. And I feel like it it brought about some self doubt within the relationship. It's like, are you in this with me? Are you always going to be this slow? Are you always going to take your time? Are you not trusting my assessment? Are you not trusting that I'm making the right decision? Are you not trusting my um? Are are you not trusting my decision? So I feel like it's not that the other person is not trusting. The situation, or trusting your assessment, or trusting that you have,、um, you know, like you're, you're coming into a situation with like eyes wide open. You know what it entails, and you know there's an element of risk, or an element of danger, or an element of like surprise even associated with it. But you're okay with that. But I feel like with this person, the way that they are raised, and the way that in which they are, in in which they function in society, it is all about you know moderation. It's all about slow and steady progress. It's all about taking the safer route. It's all about like、um, doing something that's tried and true rather than going out of their way to be a trailblazer. And I feel like it might have been there. There might have been quite a few, you know, discussions, arguments, or even、uh, heated debates. As a result of the way in which you operate and the way in which they operate, they might feel like you're a little bit impulsive. They might feel like you're looking at things through like a, a very、uh, narrow mind, like frame of mind, where you're only seeing the positive and you're neglecting all the potential pitfalls. But I feel what it is is that you have like a boundless amount of optimism, and you're just like, let's just jump right in. If the problems creep up, we'll deal with them. Because you know, life is meant to be experienced. Life is not meant to be feared and and carefully, methodically planned out down to every minute detail. Whereas this person is a planner. They take their time. They like to mull things over, and you know the the way in which they approach things. They are so slow and and risk averse and and just.、Um, I'm sensing that it's really hard for them to be spontaneous. And I'm also sensing it's too. It's it's also very very difficult for them to be convinced unless they have the whole package or they know the all the information unless they have the whole st-、uh, story. And so I feel as if there might have been a lot of persuasion or persuading that you're doing with this person, and you're telling them. It, I I see you kind of like talking to them and laying everything on the table. You know, like revealing your cards. And being very clear about what your intentions are, and I'm sensing that they feel like it's a little bit risky. They feel like they,、um, they, they feel a little bit unsettled. They feel like there's a lot of unknowns and a lot of uncertainty, and so they might have been very hesitant about giving you a definitive answer. So, for example, you're in a relationship with someone, and you have this job on the horizon. And you're just like, let's move here, let's do this. It's going to be amazing. And I feel like they might have steered you away, and they might have said like, no. And you felt almost as if I was so passionate about it, and they just kind of shut me down. Whereas they're looking at it, and they're like, the status quo is is fine. Where we are and what we're doing here is safe, it's stable.、Uh, there's progress, there's movement. It might be slow, but we don't need to do、um, like make a major life changing decision. Just for the experience, just for the excitement. So I feel like they want to settle down to something that is tried and true. While you're looking for more opportunities, you're looking for more fun. You're looking for more.、Um, I want to say, you're looking for something a little bit more. Okay, and so they feel like you might have been a little bit too spontaneous and too impulsive. And they feel like you might, you know, find something interesting, and you're going off on your whims. And then five months in, you might not, you know, the 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 glamour f-、um, fades away, or the the novelty fades away, and then you might not want to stay there. You might want to jump onto the next thing. And so they're a little bit fearful about leaving unfinished projects. They're a little bit fearful about. 
uh, biting off more than they could chew. They're fearful about abandoning things before they see things to fruition. And so they feel like you're a little bit reckless or they feel like um, you're a little bit unpredictable. And they feel that you're led and, and, and you're kind of like succumbing to that sense of spontaneity, that sense of novelty, that sense of wanting newness, wanting adventure, wanting new opportunities. And they don't feel safe in it, okay? And so while it might be an issue that is, you know, on an ideological basis to people approach life in a different way, I feel like at the heart of the matter and at the root of it, uh, you're passionately telling them about a course of action you want to take and you feel like they shut it down. You feel like they're a stick in the mud. You feel like they're a little bit like of, um, of like a um, Debbie Downer um, poking poking holes in your theories or not taking what you're saying at face value or undermining you and undermining your judgment. And I feel like, you know, you don't approach situations lightly. You're a fixed sign as well. And what I've uh, mentioned about fixed signs in the past is that um, when a fixed sign commits to something, they don't do it, you know, half-heartedly. When they say, okay, I'm on board, they are 100% on board. So this is like with relationships. When you commit, you commit with your entire being. When you say you're going to be there, you're going to show up on time. When you say you're going to do something, you will follow it through. And so I feel like you know that about yourself. And you have um, tried to convince the other person of a specific course of action that you have spent so many hours mulling over contemplating the potential fit pitfalls, contemplating the potential um, benefits of taking a specific course of action. And yet, rather than listening to you and, and trusting your intuition and trusting your judgment, you feel like the other person is just clamping down hard and, and, and pretty much, you know, undermining everything that you're telling them. And I just want you to understand they're operating from a space of stability. They're oper operating from a space of like where they are... They, they, they try to be very, you know, um, risk avoidant, okay? That's just their MO. That's their, the, the way in which they operate. And so it takes a lot of convincing and persuasion in order to get this person to come on board. And then I also feel, you know, the earth energy is all about practicality. Show them stats. Show them results. Show them, you know, um, patterns of what has been done in the past as well as what the projections are in the future. So show them numbers, show them something concrete. If you really want to convince them to come over to your side of um, doing things. So for example, if you're trying to move to a new city and, and you're just like coming up with this plan and you're doing the, the preliminary research about all the great things in this city or with this new job, you want to show them numbers. You want to say like, for example, did you know that this city has the lowest crime rate? Did you know that this city has the uh, highest, you know, GDP per capita um, in the entire nation? Or do you know that this area has the most, you know, per capita of like college grads? Like show them all the things, show them stats, show them numbers and figures about all the things that make this an attractive venture, okay? So I feel like they, they, they want those numbers, they want those stats, they want to be able to trust what you have to say in a practical way so that they they want to know that you put in the work you put in the effort to investigate and at the same time that your your investigation or your decision is not guided by something that you really really want it's not like an emotional guidance but rather it's a also it, it's also practically guided okay show them like the property value show them that how um, houses could be very affordable show them all the, the the thriving industries in that new city and and if you are able to convince them of that they're more willing to go on board or, or to be on board with you so I feel as if one person wants to steer direction in 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 the relationship in a specific way and the other person is really really taking their time 
And I also feel as well that、um, someone is very、um, like risk averse. Someone is not willing to take a lot of risk. Somebody who's、um, afraid of losing it all. Okay, everything that they built up. If you have to re-、um, relocate, you have to settle down in a different location. They don't want to lose their group of friends. They don't want to lose their community. They don't want to lose like their really well-paying job and the stability associated with that. So there's a lot at stake. I'm sensing for the other person more so. Than you, you're willing to up and go and 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 you know seek the next exciting venture. But I feel like for this person, there's a lot more at stake. There's a lot more history that they have with、um, with staying. There's a lot more emotionally like at stake for them. And so be patient and give them time. And especially if you want to convince them. Do it numbers. Do it with stats.、Um, do the preliminary research, and you know, even regurgitating that area of your finding,、um, regurgitating the information, everything that you found out in the process of researching. I feel like it's gonna convince them to come to, over to your your point of view, to believe what you have to say, and to also feel like they can trust your assessment. Okay. Um, so that's what I'm feeling here. On the other hand, I do see like there's a burgeoning new relationship, and I feel like you are very, very, very passionate about this person. Okay,、um, what I'm feeling is like this.、Um, one person wants. To, I feel like it's you, Leo. You're very passionate about another person. And I feel like they're a little bit more aloof. They're a little bit colder. They're they're not as、um, emotionally expressive, and they are not as affectionate. Okay, fire signs tend to be very、um, lovey dovey and very affectionate.、Uh, and of course, you know we have to feel safe with the other person in order for us to not feel embarrassed or not feel strange or not feel like. Desperate about expressing how we feel about the other person, but I feel in general you guys are very emotionally expressive, and I feel like you're you're dealing with someone and you're not really sure how they feel about you. So、um, we have here the lovers, and this is a love relationship where there's a lot of chemistry. Okay, there is.、Um, this is usually to me like an opposites attract. Type of an energy where two people are just magnetically drawn to one another. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of like desire, and there's also a lot of、um, like wanting the other person, wanting to be with them all the time, wanting to touch them, wanting to hold their hands, wanting to just be with them 24/7. And it, it denotes to me like a, a real like it denotes to me like the beginning of a love relationship where the two people can't. Take their hands off each other, and it's a very tangled. It's a very enmeshed, and it's also.、Um, I feel like it's it's new love. It's the beginning stages of a new love relationship, and I feel like、um, you want to see them all the time. You want to be with them all the time. You want to talk to them. You want to text them. You want to go over to their house. You want to really be with this person, and you feel almost like. I'm hearing the word like rapture, and I'm hearing the word rap as well. Like it, it, it just feels like overwhelming. Like you want this person all the time, and then I feel like the way in which they behave is sort of like this. We have here the Temperance card, and the Temperance card is、um, somebody that doesn't want to get swept away in their emotions. They're trying to do things. They're trying to moderate their feelings. They're trying to assess the situation. Through like the lens of moderation, through the need to be objective, through the need to you know,、um, I don't want this relationship to be all-consuming. I don't want、um, I don't want to be so enraptured in this relationship that I can't think straight. And it's too new, it's too soon. So you know the feelings are gonna fade. So I want to take things slow. So I feel like somebody wants to take things slow, and I feel that you want to step on the gas, and they're. I feel honestly they might be getting a little bit commitment phobic. I feel like they might feel like it's happening too fast, and they want to step on the brakes. You want to step on the gas, they want to step on the brakes. And then the way that they are with the Queen of Pentacles,、um, this is somebody that you know they they love the attention that you give them, not in a 
um, not in a way where they're hogging the attention or, you know, like leading you on or, you know, just wanting your attention and that's it. But I feel like they find you, they find the attention that you give them very pleasing. Does that make sense? Like, so, so they appreciate the attention that you give them. But at the same time, you know, this is somebody who thinks with their head, okay? Um, they're very practical. They're also like, they, they want the tried and true. They're also a little bit more on the conservative end. They also want like stability. So if things are coming at them in a burst of passion and chemistry, um, it feels really great. Anybody would appreciate that. But if they're thinking about the long-term trajectory of a relationship and if everything is just so passionate and just all about infatuation and it's all about we can't get enough of each other, they don't know if that's all there is to the relationship and they don't know if you know there's anything deeper and they don't know how that's going to stand the test of time and they need to know that something is has longevity has long-term viability before they can really invest. And so I feel like not that they don't like you, I feel like they're holding back their heart and their feelings because they're trying to look at this situation objectively, okay? So this is somebody who's like, wow, the attention that you're giving me is really, really great, but I just need to look at this or filter this information through a practical lens before I can, you know, before I can make sense of it, before I can reciprocate, before I know where we stand with each other. And so I feel like they're pumping on the brakes and you want to press on the gas pedal and you want things to move forward. Um, I do sense in a way though, um, Leo's that, and you know, please don't take this personally because I, I feel like this person really likes you. But, you know, they, they, they want to slow things down a little bit. They want to do things in, in, in moderation. And then I also feel this might have been somebody that, you know, they have been hurt in the past. And they might have, you know, been totally swept off their feet, been involved in a whirlwind romance, and got their heart burned, okay? Like, they, they might have gotten burned in the past when things move so quickly. And so if this situation with you is reminiscent of, like, something that happened to them in the past, it would explain why they want to pump on the brakes. So it has nothing to do with you. It's just things are moving a little bit too fast or faster than they're liking. And as a result of it, they might have told you to slow down. They might have uh, retreated. They might have done their disappearing act. And you're left wondering, like, what exactly happened? You know, I was honest. I was truthful. I was, like open and honest with my feelings. I gave them my feelings on a silver platter and I laid it all out there and I reviewed my cards to them. But like, why did they, you know, retreat? Why did they back off? Why, why are things moving? And so you can't help but take this a little bit personally, I feel. You might feel a little bit hurt that they're not as emotionally expressive. You might not feel like they want to move things forward with you. You might not feel like you're their one and only. You might feel like they might have other options or you might feel like you scare them off or you might feel like they're detaching because they don't like me when in fact um, they do like you. I With this lover's card and this queen of pentacles, it's like it's somebody that is a really good relationship partner and they want to build a solid foundation, okay? They don't want a one night stand. They don't want to fling. They don't want like just a... Um, um, just like a, a fly-by-night type of a, you know, whirlwind romance. They want something that is stable and that will, you know, be um, reliable into the future that can be built upon. And so when things move too fast, it scares them. So I feel like someone here is getting really, really afraid because of the way in which they feel about you. And I feel like when they're afraid, they retreat. And then when they retreat, you thought you did something wrong. You thought that they're gone. You thought that they um, led you on. Or you thought that they might have had somebody else. Okay, so while you're sitting there trying to mull over these decisions and trying to figure out, like, you know, where are they? What did I do? Did I do, do something wrong? Did I say something wrong? Did I come on too strong? Are they dealing with other people? You have a lot of questions here. And you're trying to figure out these questions. And you're also trying your best not to, you know, let these negative thoughts get to you. 
And I feel like you have a lot of an、uh, questions, unanswered,、uh, unanswered questions that you want to ask this other person. And so, the first two weeks of the month of March,、um, there are like potentials for like miscommunication, for thinking about you know things through the worst case scenario lens. And it's also about like、um, communication going awry, where you say one thing and the other person thinks you of another. But I also feel like you're dealing with someone who's telling you something, and you're reading a lot more into it than what they intended. Okay, so I feel like the the feelings are definitely here, and so don't get yourself stuck in this, you know, thinking negative thoughts and and think cycling through like worst case scenarios. Okay. Um, the latter part of the month, they are going to be making a comeback in your life. Okay, I keep thinking that some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay, so、um, like an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius comes out really strongly. We have the Star card, which is indicative of Aquarius, and then I also feel like、uh, a Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and what I'm seeing with this is.、Um, So let's take a look at this person, okay? Whoever you're dealing with,、um, the way that they are, this is somebody who's very self-made, okay? They're very self-reliant, and、um, this is a card about healing. And so I usually think of this as somebody who has been through the ringer when it comes to past love relationship. They've had their fair share of disappointments. For some of you, this person might have like newly gotten out of a really significant relationship in which they were very hurt, and so they're loving with eyes wide open. Okay, they they don't fall for infatuation or they don't trust, you know, passion and chemistry. They they don't feel like that's going to be enough, and they're very wary about rushing into a relationship or even being in a relationship where. Um, being in a relationship where you know it's all about passion and chemistry, and they don't trust it, and so what they're experienced with, what they are experiencing with you is that they really do want you. I feel like they're really physically attracted to you, and they don't trust it. They think that's all there is to it, and so they're trying to buy their time. They're trying to get to know you better, and they're trying to let the、um, the steam kind of like you know leave the, the relationship a little bit so that they can look at you objectively because they they feel like they don't want to be clouded by you know lust and infatuation. They want to be real about expectations, and so I feel like you're dealing with someone who is also incredibly independent. They like their space. They like their routine. They like their ways, and it might be a little bit difficult to be in a relationship with this person, mainly because you know they're they're so used to being on their own. They're so used to, to having things a certain way, and it's hard for them to kind of like work together in a relationship or with another person in a relationship. It's hard for them to like make compromises or even.、Um, Match your passion, okay? So,、um, air signs, and especially the Aquarius person, and even Earth signs, they're very methodical. They think with their heads, and I feel like they don't let their emotions, uh, uh, they they don't get swept away with their emotions. So even though they feel these amazing feelings for you, and there's a lot of passion here, even though they feel it, the way in which they, um. They show the emotion. It's a little bit more detached. It's a little bit more practical. It's a little bit more grounded. And so, if you're looking for that burst of passion, I feel like you know this person might not be able to show that until they feel incredibly safe and stable in the relationship with you. So it's going to take a little bit more time to get this relationship or to get this person on board, and it's going to take a little bit more time for the two of you to kind of like. Calibrate and to be able to find that middle ground as to what works for you. But trust me, I feel like the feelings are definitely there from from their end, and they just have trouble grappling with it, and and they don't want to, the emotions to kind of take over. Okay. Um, there's a longing here, very very deep longing. I have here nine of cups and the star. Okay. Uh, the Nine of Cups is a situation where we feel very emotionally satiated. We feel like complete. Um, when you look at this card, okay, there's a bear. He's got his pot of honey. He's potentially overindulging on honey. Okay, so it's like it, it's something that is very sweet, 
But when you when you eat too much of it, it gives you a tummy ache. Like it, it it can be so sweet that it's sickening. Okay, and this is a really positive card. But the way it's depicted in the spread, I just feel like you really want this this person. There's like, I feel like somebody is salivating. I feel like somebody is like, I really want that. There, you're seeing somebody that you really want, and you wanna just you know beeline it. Be lining it for that person, and I feel like the person is kind of like hesitant about letting you in. Okay, so I'm sensing that the other person, um, I'm sensing a really strong Aquarius vibe, and Aquarius are super detached. And with Aquarius, um, you might want to play it cool a little bit to capture their attention, giving them a little bit way too much information and putting them on the spot. It might actually, um, it, it might have the a opposite effect. So I feel like you want to play it cool. You want to approach them and, and you know, just uh, in a, a more neutral manner. But I feel like they're looking at you and they know that you're very attracted to them and they feel the same way. But I do sense that, you know, there is a part of them that's really holding back because they want they, they want a foundation of friendship first. They don't want it to be all about lust and infatuation because they know that's not enough to sustain a relationship. So the advice for you here is with the temperance card and the temperance card is about moderation, okay? Don't overindulge in uh, something so sweet that it gives you a tummy ache. Don't overindulge in a situation so much that it, it consumes you. And especially, um, you know, letting things flow naturally, don't force it, don't push it, give the other person space and doing things in moderation in general so that things can be lasting, so that things take a natural course. And usually when things take a natural course or when things take time to develop, all the kinks naturally would have been worked out. And so it's actually in your favor to kind of slow this down and and you know emotionally moderate and to let things naturally unfold okay i feel like you want somebody really really badly and um you feel really passionate about them and then i also feel like um you want to make sure that you give them the space that they need that you don't bombard them with too much emotions because i'm sensing with this either the aquarius or the earth sign um they want things to 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 you know take its natural course. They want to slow things down, and they're 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 methodical and they're practical, and they just want what's tried and true, and they don't want to be swept up in their feelings. Okay. Um, there is going to be like a, a reckoning or like a coming together in a very harmonious way um, at the end of this month, and I feel like one of the, the catalysts that will allow you to do that, we have here the Three of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles, this is kind of like a higher level of communication, okay, this is like building the foundation, um, talking about the practical things, okay, talking about the logistics, talking about things that are a little bit more grounded, okay, so this is sort of, um, having con conversation with another person, about things that are not just about ideas but about practical things like getting to know somebody in a practical way like what was your family like what were your relationships like with your siblings you know what was your relationship like you know like why didn't that marriage work in the past so like really getting to know another person and you know being interested to get to know that that other person in a soulful, friendly way so that you can assess, you know, what kind of a person are they? What kind of a friend are they? What kind of a lover are they? Or have they been in the past? What kind of a sibling are they? Do they want children? Do they want to settle down in the country or the city? Working through the logistics and really getting to know another person just so that you can gauge, are we actually compatible? Do we actually want the same things? And so a lot of the times I feel like, you know, passion and lust and excitement it takes over but this is something that needs to be had this is a conversation that is incredibly like um people coming together getting to know each other learning how each other works so that we can see if we're on the same page are we building towards something of you know greater value together are we on the same page do we want the same things 
And from there, that's when you can really assess, you know, how the other person feels about you. And if you approach these topics and these conversations with this in mind, I feel like it's um it's a lot more it's it's a lot easier to get to know the other person and it's a lot easier to get them to open up so that they don't feel afraid because you know it's not about feelings and emotion this is about practical conversations okay um another thing as well if you want to like for example um you really like somebody and you're trying to take them out on a date okay um a date that involves doing something like um hands on would be really good okay solving a puzzle together um like even playing um board games solving a puzzle um like i'm i'm seeing <clears throat> i don't know if you guys are aware of this but you know there there are those uh, escape rooms where they have puzzles and depending on you know who who runs it it can be really really good or it can be really bad but um finding an escape room finding like a puzzle finding some type of a thing that you can work together at it, it's very hands on even like cooking together uh preparing a meal together or something like that i feel like you know it's going to allow you to see the other person how they operate how they think how they function and you're going to get to know each other in a very natural way and so that will make them feel a lot more comfortable to be able to open up around, uh with you And then we also have the chariot and things are going to be moving really 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 fast. And I feel like, you know, your emotions are are kind of like it's like the the tidal wave. It's it's sweeping you up. It's carrying you, you know, for the ride and I feel like many of you are very swept up in your emotions regarding this person. And I feel like you might see them as the one. You might see them as the person you want to really invest your time in, really um go the whole nine yards with. and really want to settle down with and you're very much you know you, you feel really strongly about this person and so what i i'm sensing is um the other person they want to know whether or not you can make the cut they want to know whether or not you're going to be there for the long haul and they want to know they want to they still want to get to know you and i feel like the person you're dealing with deep down they are skeptical they they are aware that people hide their their themselves well people wear masks and so they're trying to get to know you and they're trying to make sure that you know you're the right person and so towards the end of the month i do feel a coming together okay this is the chariot card and it denotes two people working together at a common purpose moving along um in the same manner okay so once again um the image of the two crane gliding and and flying alongside each other in a very graceful way i feel like you're going to reach that state of harmony between you and your um your person where the two of you are sharing feelings are working alongside with one another have an opportunity to work together and to solve problems together and to you know feel like to feel certain that they are the right one for you, okay? So I feel like it's going to take some time for you to get to this level, but time is really on your side. So let things unfold naturally. A lot of the times we push for a specific outcome, and we have to let nature take its course. Nature uh will kind of like work iron out all the kinks for you, okay? So um I will leave it at that okay Leo's I feel like this is going to be a really really uh love filled month for many of you and um I do sense that you're going to be quite happy by the end of the month okay there's definitely reciprocity um somebody reciprocating your feelings but I feel like it takes some time for them to open up okay Um for those who are interested in a reading, I do have a link in the description box below for a psychic. She is based out of California. If you're interested in getting a reading with her, you can click on the link in the description box below. I also have a link to an artist. She's also based out of California and she does really cool abstract paintings. If you want to take a look, click on the link as well in the description box below. I will be back for the month of April soon. uh in about like 2 weeks or so and i will talk to you guys soon take care and enjoy and have a bl- very blessed march 2020 okay take care